another zany friends i am laney i am marshall today we're going to talk about roanoke girls this is by amy ingle and roanoke girls uh was a book that i stumbled across in one of the activities that i was doing for the weeby book and by the way shout out the shirt um <laughs> we we are doing a jeopardy kind of event this month and uh we decided I guess one of the prompts was read something that was on uh, Jacqueline, who is the creator of We'd Be Booking. It was on her, like, most read, most favorited thrillers on, her, on a tiered video she did. And she could not stop talking about Roanoke Girls. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm interested. The book is about a family uh, called the Roanoke Girls. And they're always girls. They're, there's never boys. I don't know. There's a, a patriarch, a grandma and grandpa. And they have daughters. And those daughters have daughters. But for the most part, the daughters all die or leave. And nobody really understands, I mean, outside the family, nobody really understands why that is. So this book takes place in the past and in the present. And in the past, you see a summer where the main character comes back, comes to live after her mother commits suicide. She comes to live with her grandparents and her cousin, who is a uh, basically living there full time but basically the main, the main character is only living there for the summer before she goes off and like does whatever she does goes to college whatever i can't really remember and it's not important to the story so after three months she leaves and then many 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 years later her cousin goes missing so her grandparents ask her to come back so that she can help find her cousin so not only is this told through the past where it happened that's that three months of the summer and the present but you also get like one chapter each of all of the Roanoke girls kind of explaining what happened to them how did they die where did they go and as you're going through this you start to get a picture of the one element that unites all of them. This was very apparent to me at probably the one quarter mark what this element was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I do enjoy those, those kinds of stories where you do have multiple perspectives on the same kind of idea. Um, although this is interesting that it's not the same events but more of the same family. Uh, yes. that you're getting the different perspectives of. And without knowing what that quarter mark is, I really have no idea. Well, I don't know if but... everyone, like, will really... I mean, they kind of do tell you at the quarter mark, but they don't. Like, they just kind of work it in there. And if you're not pay if you're not really paying attention, mm -hmm. you might not understand what is really happening. And then you're like, oh, all right, all right. And as it gets along, you start to get more information. Uh, yeah, it... I will tell you there are trigger warnings in this book if I can't even tell you what the trigger is and that is pretty bad because if I tell you what the trigger is you're gonna know what the book one of the mysteries in the book okay so there is the mystery of what is going on with all of these girls and then there's the mystery of what happened to this cousin I unpopular opinion gave this book three stars mostly because uh i didn't really get the mystery like i knew what was going on like from point blank did it like kind of horrify me a little bit yeah yeah it's kind of gross uh what happens in this book but i thought it was a great book as far as like how it was written how you got all these viewpoints but I don't know. Everyone seems to love this book, and I'm like, I don't, I don't, uh, 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 I don't know. I guess it just wasn't my type of book. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it, again, trigger warnings. If you are easily shocked and liked being easily shocked, this book is definitely for you. You'll probably like it. Probably like it. Yeah. Anything else? No. <laughs> This was an I'm ambiguous, gonna stay away from that one. Ambiguous book review. <laughs> Am ambiguous book review is ambiguous. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye bye.